Sorry, dude's just slow as shit. Are you ready to smoke his ass this weekend? Oh, I am. I'm ready to smoke his ass today. <laughs> they're trying to get in your head because you're the one that they're most afraid of. <laughs> what about the hospital while the Jeff's in? <laughs> oh, really? I might just throw a punch and hit the back of the head. Tell me you're scared without telling me you're scared. Yeah. Just yeah. Yeah. these guys. Let me go. Yeah, we're gonna get together. Whoa. Will we miss the flight? <laughs> I got my animal crossing sorted. This is how Connor found his wife. Uh, I'm actually coming up the front. Thank you so much. I guess, where the hell are we? We are in... Chicago, the Big Apple. Right. The Boston Boost Games, baby. Is Jeff. Goose, I think you have a great shot at getting top eight tomorrow as long as you don't close in 220 like last time you were in Boston. I'm gonna open it. Yeah, any bags? Oh. Barriers the whole way down length of the track. It's like a shoot. Yeah, it's right there. Oh, uh, there she is. Oh. Oh, yeah. wow. Pretty, pretty fancy schmancy hotel we got here. You saw it? Yeah. Wow, look at that wind chocolate on my bed. Alright, so we found out that the race is not the same course as last year. It's actually in a totally different place and 20 minutes away from here. So, all the mental prep out the window. <laughs> Gotta restart all right now. Most importantly, beat Jeff because we can't. I can't handle Jeff's shit after <laughs> if oh, he beats me. I will me. never hit the end of it. <laughs> if Jeff beats me, I will definitely let that down. It's gonna be really interesting because like my whole thing with this race was always just like, you know guys like Clayton and Marson are gonna just like crush right when they hit the track. Mm -hmm. And now that that element's not in there and no one has any like perception. Like this is like Fifth Ave, like Fifth Ave is just a straight shot and no one actually knows when the ending is. Yeah. And like it seems like the guys that just have the most experience on that course, like Willis, you know, O'Hare, yeah. always seem to like know when to time their kicks because they know exactly how long they have to yeah. go. No one's run this at all. And like now this course, no one's ever run it before. Yeah. So like no one has any idea when to kick or when to like execute properly. Yeah. Run fast like that. Remember I ran on Feeling like for tomorrow. What's the plan? What's the uh, what's the mentality? I mean, the the plan is to compete and just keep the momentum that I've got. Um, I was talking to Dom at dinner and was minimizing the fact that I PR'd last time because it was only a third of a second. She's like, but it's still the fastest you've ever run. Um, and so I'm trying to build off of that. Um, and tomorrow's not going to be the fastest I'll ever run, but it'll be a good building block to go do that again next week in Portland. So, I honestly just want to race, compete, um, yeah, and, and walk away with it feeling like I executed my plan well. This is, this is Mitchell Street Mile to a T, and I've won that thing six years in a row, so <laughs> you guys are all fucked. Like, <laughs> Second at the boss. 
I know. I I thought you like you kind of like it looked like you were gonna start to fade, uh -huh. and then at the bus I was like, oh, yeah, I shit. thought yeah. you like surged, and I was like, oh shit, I think Hughes has it. That's, like, that's how like, I've won all like my road miles. It's just like you, sending it from yeah. 600 out. Four by three minutes, 90 second recovery. So I want to let's go back and forth on this off over here. Pace was the first one. So faster than five minutes pace. Um, I thought it was great effort. Um, you know, anytime coming out to an Adidas event for us is really exciting and just getting to spend time with uh, the brand and the family um, and all of those good things. So it, it, it's great, you know, capped it off with a great session to end things. And, you know, now we really just sharpen up, rest up, and get ready for, you know, championships. How was the race? It was good, man. Great effort. Like, no one really could judge the course well because it was the first time everyone ran it, so it was like even for everyone. But I just wanted to like push hard to 800 to be sure that I was the first one around that bend because I thought it, people were just going to lose a lot of momentum. I thought that would be an advantage to me, so I surged going into 800 and surged off of it. Definitely felt like I broke it open a little bit and then Goose surged off of me and I just stayed patient knowing that I needed a gear at the end there. And uh, yeah, lost to a bunch of really high caliber milers, so can't be too upset about that. German championships in around like 12 days now, like two, two, two weeks and a half, so just excited for that, man. Gears are starting to turn, momentum is building, that's all you can ask for.